best thing about playing it in period is that you feel like a soldier, like a soldier from a time that doesn't we can't really access anymore. And you've got a sword on your left and breeches and boots, and you feel like a man who's used to being at sea and used to fighting, and it centers you and grounds you, and um, it takes you back to a different time where it feels like you experience more of the that the world was a bigger, more dangerous place. For me, in a modern day context, it's as if Cassia and Desdemona went to the same school or the same good university or something. And Othello wasn't there and Iago wasn't there, but they've known each other for a long time. They're from the same class and they're from the same world. And so therefore they can be very free with each other in a way that isn't sexually dangerous. What's interesting about playing Cassio is that you discover his insecurities as you play him. And he seems to be this young alpha male on the page and he's got everything going for him. He hath a daily beauty in his life that makes Iago ugly. But when you get inside him, it, he has all these flaws and he's fallible and he's incomplete because he, he isn't yet where he wants to be in his life. He's clearly on a career trajectory and, and he can't take his drink and he loses his reputation. And it's in that reputation scene where you, you discover what he, the most important things to himself in his life. It is his reputation. And Shakespeare's tapped into this amazing concept in humanity, I think, that as human beings, all we have is our reputation and that's our legacy. And he loses it.